What's going on, y'all? Hope you've been living right. Here we are out on Lake Minnetonka. Uh, just passed by Fitzgerald. We're going to fish the northern west side today. Yeah, the reason I came out here is because there is no shortage of docks, and today is all about how I approach dock fishing. In my tournaments, I normally 100% throw just a jig. Uh, we do have one of those tied on, your two basic baits for fishing docks, a jig, and a um, wacky worm setup, a worm. But I also love throwing when I'm just out having fun or scouting or checking out a lake, top water, square bill, glide bait, and a six inch soft plastic. We're also gonna throw in a jerk bait on that aspect too. And we're gonna hit each dock with a different bait starting off uh, today. Just, uh, you know, go out and have a good time. We're not gonna just get hammered in or settled in right away with one bait. We're gonna find out what we can catch them on and what they're willing to hit. So I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna get running to the first set of docks and I'll show you the actual baits that I'll be using, explain my thought process and all that behind my approachment of docks. So here we go. Now we're gonna get, go ahead and get started with the day. We got our line of docks down through here. And yeah, so if you hate forward facing sonar, this will be a video for you. And if you have forward facing sonar and you don't know how to fish a dock, stick around. I think, I don't know. Hell, just making cracks, who knows. We are set up, we are ready to fish. And we're gonna start off with the top water bait right here on a new rod. I ended up breaking a six cents rod and it wasn't cheap. I told them I needed, and it was out of stock. And I was like, well, I have a more of a need for a different rod. So I was able to get two of the same rods for the price that I owed for that one. And now I got a dedicated topwater setup. All right, here we go. We got our setup. We got a topwater bait right here, a walking style bait, the catwalk. We got square bill, a jerk bait. We got the jig laying right there. Over here, we got our wacky worm, a six and a half inch glide, and a six inch soft plastic swim bait. Now it is stupid early in the morning. And maybe, just maybe they're not completely under the docks and they're just kind of out swimming around, low light conditions, full moon's coming. So yeah, we'll start off with the catwalk, the top water. Um, this year, the water level's up really high because of all the rain we've gotten this year. So skipping this underneath the dock is not gonna happen or sliding in it underneath the dock isn't gonna happen this year. Typically the water levels, last two years, the water level's been down like another three to four foot. So this is a lot of water in here now. Could help, but it could hurt. I do not know. So we're gonna ease up to this dock and we're just gonna cast around it and see if something doesn't come out first. There we go, perfect, right on the side. Yeah, nothing happened there, shocking. I thought that'd been a fish for sure. Get a cast in front of it. Against the shore, work it back. I can turn my trolling motor down a little bit. Oh! Crushed it. <laughs> Right there up front. I think it's a northern. No, it's a bass. It's a little largey. Hell yeah. Fishing docks. Who doesn't love that? Top water action. First thing in the morning. Gotta love a little top water. A little one and one pounder. On the morning up shallow in front of that dock. Yeah, a little one pound, seven ounce bass 
Let's see if we can't hit 15 pounds today. That's the goal. The main goal is to try to catch a four plus. All right. They are done with that topwater bait. Next, let's go with the little square bill. Now this is something a lot of people don't like to throw around docks, but it is a phenomenal, oops. It's a phenomenal bait around docks. The goal with the square bill is you want to cast it and you want to deflect it off corner post of docks. That's my main goal with it at least. Take it and bounce it off a corner like we're about to do right here. As soon as you hit that pole, you pause it like that. Let's we'll see if we get that. No? Nothing on the square bill. Like I said, I wanted to try a jerk bait. So maybe. There we go. We got a fish right there. Second pop. Oh, no. Weed. <laughs> I just had solid weight on my second pop. Deflect that off the corner there. There we go, right there, off the corner of the dock. It doesn't feel like a bad little bath. Jerk bait on the corner of the dock. Nice. Nice. Not a big one, but it's an approach that I'm glad I had. I went through there with the square bill and nothing happened. There we go. Deep diving bluegill square bill. And look how tubby that little dude is. He was sitting on the corner of that dock right there. The one pound, 12, 13 ounce bass. Little guy, but still, I mean, it's tournament fish. <laughs> Unfortunately. Hell yeah. Off the corner of the dock with the jerk bait. All right. Let's change up how we fish these ducks. Let's just let's just burn them with something to get some bites, and then we'll dial in what they're eating and how they're eating. I believe there's fish in here. I'm just. Not quite getting them. There we go. Right there. Little guy. Underneath that boat. Alright. Squareville got bit. And that prop wash area. Let's just go for my heat, my sauce. We'll throw jigs, square bill and jerk bait and top water right now. We just want to generate bites right now. At least I want to generate bites. Oh, that's a fish. There we go. Little guy came off. There we go. We got one. Oh, no. That was something though. I got bumped. There we go. That's a nice fish right there. All right, he's got me wrapped up good. Got me wrapped up good. Handful of cast in there just for that little guy. Not what we're looking for. Thank you, buddy. That bite was really slow and subtle, though. A little 
little guy on a wacky rig. Nothing crazy. Come on. Find the freaking shit out of me. Find the hell out of me, son of a bitch. He was just kind of sitting there with it. There we go. There we go. Feels like a good one. It was up underneath there. Finally got a nice bass on the jig. Or nice bass in general. Decent bass. Best one of the day so far. Best bass of the day right there. <sighs> Chesty turned off. Or the main camera turned off. But we got something. Two pounder. Two pound, two ounce. Got him on the jig. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with these fish. They're really not biting all that well. And I got a damn wake boat over here. Going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Waking the hell out of me. There we go, there we go, that's a nice bass. On the jig, the wacky worm went through there and nothing. Got him on the jig though. There we go, that's a three pounder. There we go. Uh, jig seems to be the thing. They're on the bottom. Close to three pounder, two and three quarters. 212. Nice guy. Hell yeah, thank you, buddy. I'm not feeling them bite though. That's the thing. I don't think they're in a feeding mood too much. I'd like to feel that hard thump of a fish. But now I'm just, it's either I feel the line moving or I see the line moving a little bit. I don't even feel a bump or anything they're just coming down and grabbing it and then swimming with it all right we got a fish there we go feels good feels real good eh, little guy just a lot of heart <laughs> a lot of heart on this guy well, we got one. There we go. With the wake from the wake boat. One pound, 11 ounce. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> oh, well, we're up nine pounds for five. Nine pounds, 13 ounces. Ain't second setting no records. The only thing I can seem to get bit on is my jig. And when these fish are biting, I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it at all. I'm not getting a bump it's just like all of a sudden either a i feel a little bit of weight with my line moving or i just got solid weight like this right here solid weight <laughs> oh that's a nice one that's a freaking toad on the jig that is a freaking monster on the jig hold still buddy hold still come here give me your lip give me your lip
God! Yes! Oh! Oh, look at that freaking monster! Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh my God! That thing's massive! Oh! Y'all check that thing out! Holy crap! This thing's just like big! Oh my God! He's got girth to him! Freaking girth! It's not a PB. Five pounds, nine ounce bass. Maybe y'all are clean, y'all can see that, I don't know. Hell yeah, on the jig. Hell yeah, five pounder. Whew. Epic, freaking epic. Uh, been a while since I got a five pounder. Whew. All right, we'll get this big old boy. And it is boy, male. Give him a release. Oh my God. Thank you, buddy. There he goes. Oh my God. <laughs> Can't believe that just freaking happened. Oh. It has been a grind this morning. Came out here and, you know, I'm gonna throw fish docks and that's why you fish docks right there it is super fun and yeah <laughs> five pounder oh my god and like i said it was just solid weight just solid weight hell yeah Whew. oh my god all right we are gonna make a run go fish another bay for about two hours hopefully and catch another five that'd be freaking epic here we are spot number two on the day probably last day for my timeline I'm allowed today or I have myself today um, yeah do a little bit of everything in here it's shallow right here but then it deepens on the other docks mm, well the second group of docks isn't panning out either I mean, we just started on them technically, but it's not going to be easy. Oh, we got a fish. We got a fish. Up underneath there. Uh-oh. I'm on something of theirs. There we go. We're off. Oh, yeah go got one on the jig up underneath there I don't know if he'll help it's just a little guy but he was sitting underneath there where I expected him to be up against the boat lift no he's he's not gonna help a little shy a little shy yeah let go thank you buddy uh, it was dropping and it just kept going and going like it was a bottomless pit there we go look caught one on the lipless finally He's a little small, but I got one. <laughs> ah, there we go. I straightened out one hook, <laughs> broke off another on this one. But, I mean, it's still, I caught, I caught a fish on it. Not the size I'm hoping for, but makes me wonder what that little booger is doing out here in the middle. There we go, there we go, right there. Crankbait. Back of the dock. <laughs> Came out and got it. That's what, I, that's what I'm talking about. Now it looks like I know what I'm talking about a little bit better. Square bill got crushed at the dock. Hell yeah. Little guy, 
he may help or not I'm not quite sure but that's what I wanted that square bill hopefully y'all can see me square bill got him got bit finally yeah he's like a 114 115 114 is where it held doesn't help out a whole lot but it's on the square bill thank you buddy there we go hopefully I get bit there Did get bit right there. That time I put a hook in him. Dang it. Two of them I missed in there. What the frick? I don't know what's going on there. There we go. We got him that time. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. There we go. There we go. He hit a couple times. We stuck him or there's a couple fish there. One or the other. He's all fired up. I got hit so many times. Under that dock. It was no joke. No joke, but we got him. He's about two pounds. He'll help a little bit. We're, I mean, we're at 14.02 right now. He calls out in that 112. Nice. Hell yeah. Give us 14.08. That's it. Thank you, buddy. Another one nice through the glide through there and everything and still didn't get him so the jig is the play the jig is the play uh, he'd hit it again right at the corner I kind of have an idea where they're all staged up at I think this will call that 114 it does two pounds six ounces Oh yeah, thank you buddy, at 15 pounds even. I couldn't ask for it to be any better than that. Four low twos and a five pounder. Made a pretty solid sack for the day. There we go, there we go, square bill underneath the boat. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. What the? Look how, oof. Hold still, buddy. Hold still, hold still, hold still, hold still, hold still. Calm down, calm down. He's a dark one. Hell yeah. There we go. There we go. That's a nice one. That's a freaking nice one. Underneath the boot. Oh, there we go. Whew. Nice. We got him. Uh, slugging it out underneath there. Didn't feel the bite or anything yet again. Just had weight. Started swimming with it, two pounds, 11 ounces. Not bad, that jig getting it done, square bills working here and there. Yeah, I don't know what else I gotta do here to catch fish. We're at 15 pounds, nine ounces. Seems about the best I'm gonna do. There we go. I got one. That's a nice one. Uh, well, it feels nice. Wraps me up. There we go. It's still a good one. That's a solid bass. That is a solid bass. Hell yeah. 
hell yeah underneath that dock i really do thoroughly and i really do thoroughly love fishing docks well fishing docks thoroughly or fishing jocks in general i'm getting hot it's getting tired i'm getting tired uh 15 they're 16 pounds now um it was like two pounds 10 ounces thank you buddy Uh, thank you buddy no bite yet again with those <clears throat> it was just weight i'm not feeling the thumps like i kind of felt something there there we go we got him he's got me wrapped up Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. Got me wrapped up pretty good in there. Little guy. Little guy. He won't help cause, but he's a solid two pounder. Freaking weight boats. Getting ridiculous. As for the day, I caught a fish on everything but my big baits, and that's kind of to be expected. It is fun to catch them on this stuff, throwing the square bills, getting bit. The jig seems to be the key they're not i can't even feel them biting so that that has that says a lot right there um they're kind of negative but smashed a five pounder ended up with a 16 pound bag today caught a lot of bass in a lot of different ways around the docks so if you enjoyed this video please hit that thumbs up leave a comment subscribe hopefully i didn't butcher it too bad till next time y'all keep living around. Right.